Hello everybody, this is All Sales Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Persona 5 Royal. In the previous episode, we got through the remainder of Okumura's palace and have sent the calling card. Now then, apparently it's recommended that your party consist of Ryuji, Haru, and Morgana, and that Joker has access to multi-hit electrical psi and wind skills. Anyways, nothing else to do but to watch a DVD. Mouse MD. Though he faces opposition from his peers, the Dr. Mouse holds fast to his convictions. Mm. He's a stubborn one, that mouse, but you've got to admit, he solves the problem every time. Oh. So, we finished watching Mouse MD, huh? And maybe you learned a thing or two about kindness from watching this drama. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can't get any kinder. Okay. Well then. Alright, and let's finish the Art of Automata. Hmm? Karakuri requires attention to the finest of details. Wow. They call it Karakuri, but aren't they just dolls? What are your thoughts? So you finished reading the Art of Automata. I thought they were just dolls, but their mechanisms are far more complex than I thought. Now that you know how they work, I'm sure that's helped you pay better attention to the mm. details. And with this, our proficiency maxes out at Transcendent. All that's left is to get those last few points and guts. All right. Oh, we're almost at the station. I'd say that was an efficient use of your time. Sir Kunikazu Okumura, the great profiteering sinner of greed. Your success and global fame exists due to the tyranny you reign over your employees. Thus, we have decided to make you confess all your crimes with your own mouth. Hm. From the Phantom Thieves. I must take care of this before it becomes a problem. I've received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. I need you to send it over to the police. Don't make me repeat myself. Give it to the police. That's an order. These scoundrels have threatened me. Aren't the police supposed to side with law-abiding citizens? I will not fail. Alrighty then. This matter is urgent. Take care of it at once. I need to let everyone know about this. Textbooks open to page... Picking up from the last time, we were talking about the French Revolution. Having executed the royalty, the revolutionaries proceeded to take the courts under their control. All who opposed the revolution were executed. However, the revolutionaries too were then reviled as despots and executed by the public. Many people were execu executed during the French Revolution. The fact that this many executions were possible was actually due to one specific invention. Nakamura-kun, take a look at this. What is the answer? This is a guillotine, a tool which allowed for mass executions. Now, do you know who invented this instrument? Joseph Ignace Guillotine. It's kind of obvious. This is it. Correct. That's correct, the tool is named after him. By the way, Charles Henry Sanson, the famous executioner, it said that he killed 2,800 people with the advent of the guillotine. It may look cruel, but it delivered a swift, painless execution, regardless of one's social status. It wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that it embodied the French spirit of equality. Nice going. Revolution is sometimes a bloody thing. The revolutionaries that rose up for freedom became despots themselves. 
It's a common tale. Our social nice. reform doesn't hurt anybody in the real world. It's a bloodless revolution. Well, that we know of. Wait, he even figured out when we're gonna do it? This is different from normal. He has some nerve delivering the calling card to the police himself. Either he's certain his heart won't be changed, or he's colluded with the police from the beginning. As strange as it is for me to say, I could see that being the case. Whoa, the comments are coming in hot. Look! Take him down, Phantom Thieves. I don't care what the Phantom Thieves do as long as they show up, haha. -ha. Just do it quick, lol. They're just saying whatever they want. At this point, all they care about is seeing those in power beg for forgiveness. Damn it, this isn't a game! The means and the ends have been reversed. We're starting to be seen purely as entertainment. But we gotta do this! We can't just drop everything now! Considering the existence of the palace, his desires are indeed distorted. In a sense, the earlier we pull the root, the better. And given the issue concerning Haru's fiancé, we don't have another choice in the matter. If we don't, then everything we've been doing up until now would just be for nothing. I believe this is best too. After hearing my father speak, I saw no remorse in him. Ryuji and Haru were right. Honestly, everything the public is talking about does bother me a little. But Okumura may just be the one behind the mental collapses. We can't leave this be. We most definitely can't. I feel like he's hiding something. Something big. True. And we already sent the calling card after all. Let's do this like we always do. And steal his palace's treasure! Alrighty then, let's do this. Get the weapon to that tap production and let's it. make a save here just in case. Because things are gonna be a little bit different this let's time go. around. I have something. What? I'm a thief. Can't resist. Hey, what is that thing? Oh, it's a UFO. Is that the Frisbee skull mentioned before? That's what they're making here? The SS Utopia will soon enter its launch sequence from the shipbuilding dock. After retrieval of the main core, the launch sequence will commence. The SS Utopia? Project Escaped Utopia, so this is what that was about. Um... Father did say he was going to ascend into the political world. So even this company is a stepping stone for him. He will discard this place for his utopia. Wait up. If he gets out of here, we're not going to be able to make him tell us about the shutdowns. Uh. You're right. We gotta hurry. I think we can go further in now. Look. That's it. That's the treasure! What? Emergency launch sequence will soon be activated. Certain areas may be shut off or destroyed. I repeat, emergency launch sequence will soon be activated. All personnel is advised to evacuate immediately to a safe area of the facility. What in the world? There is no time to deal with this. I must be making my way. You can all stand at watch. Your destruction is imminent. <laughs> what a pompous jackass. There's no time. We need to hurry. Over here. Damn it. And we've <gasps> got ten minutes to get to where we need to go. Oh, and the timer doesn't pause if you get into a battle, and there are enemies around here. 
I do have a bunch of smoke screens I could use to avoid them, though. Like, a bunch. Okay. This has to be a joke. Ah, uh, no, not what I wanted. Okay. Arc Magatama, not bad. The hell? Dude, is this for real? Uh, Avoiding on. unnecessary battles would probably be for the best. Let's treat and come up with a different strategy. No way, we ain't got time for that. We gotta plow through them. Are you even thinking if we use up all of our energy now, we may as well toss our entire plan? Wait. Hold on, guys, calm Joker. down. Joker! You make the call, Joker. I've got your back either way. Easy. Huh. Smokescreen. Plenty of time to spare. That being said, if you do somehow get caught up in a fight, just retreat. Hey, wait up! You won't escape. There. Well, looks like we caught up to you, Mr. CEO. Hi. I'm sorry. I've had a change of heart. I'll prove it. Father. Haru, you were always so agreeable. Whether it was in school or after, you only ever did as I said. You've become so admirable. What's gotten into him? Do you remember, Haru? You cried your eyes out when my work kept me from attending your first sports day. It was then that you stopped talking back to me. Honestly. Mm -hmm. You had me worried. Still, you stood up against me and became an independent young woman. Nothing could make a father happier than seeing that. You still remember something that happened so long ago? Back then, you poured your heart into making delicious food. You wanted to bring joy to others. Why did you change? Forgive me, Haru, but I would never last with my treasure bestowed. Please, don't do it. I'm begging you. Yeah, this totally isn't a trap. Father, let's... Let's end it here. Ah, Haru. You foolish girl. What? Overcome failure at any cost, even if it means betraying others. That is our family motto. The cold reality of kicking people down is part of business. Virtues and sentiments are for losers. What happiness can be found in acting with justice but losing the battle? What happiness can be found through profit, gained by crushing the hearts of others? Better that than fail. I'd much rather destroy others than wallow in the misery of debt. Regardless, I shall soon set sail into the political realm. To the upper echelons of the world. To Utopia. My name shall be etched in the annals of history. Make your decision, Haru. If you cast them away, I'll let you join me on this ship. Stay and you will be incinerated along with this entire base. Now then, what is your choice? You fool. Noir! What about you there? Don't you want to get out of here alive? Want to board my ship? You're fighting against the others, are you not? Huh. So you were spying on us. You'll gain nothing by staying with them. That's what you believe, isn't it? You are absolutely right. Sell them out. Cut them off for your own personal gain. I'll even give you the switch once we take off. So, do we have a deal? 
I'll give you 10 seconds. <laughs> Don't take me for such a fool. Everything's gains and losses for you, isn't it? I pity you, Mr. CEO. You lived with Haru for 17 years and you still haven't realized? In this world, there are tons of things that money and fame can't buy. What point would there be in only saving myself? <laughs> Nobody could replace these guys, period. You know what that means? Your offer was a no-go from the start! What? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, wait. Ha. Way to go, me! Wowza! You're so cool, <laughs> Mona! <laughs> <laughs> Father. So much for the negotiation. <laughs> you rebels. There is time before launch. I will crush you all. Very well then. Ring it. You little. You won't get out alive. It's time you surrender, Father! Give up? Try saying that after you've taken down my company's elite soldiers. Yeah, we're gonna be fighting a bunch of his robots. Go, my employees! Be the foundation upon which my victory is built! And now, my devoted workers! Targeting them at random won't do the trick. You have to take each one out individually. Here, target that one first. The obnoxious blonde one. Yeah, he has comments for all of them. Yeah, I was hoping I could find a way to pause this. It looks vicious. We should go directly for its weak. Nope. Anyways. Yep, and they'll do as he says. No, not Pazuzu. Kumbanda, you're mine. There we go. Now, I've heard a lot of people disappointed that Okumura doesn't transform and fight us directly, but for his character, it actually makes sense. He's a CEO. How useless can you all be? Whatever has become of company loyalty? Very well then. Haru, teach our employees how to demonstrate their loyalty properly. Yes, father. Huh? Me? My Haru faithfully obeys my orders. After all, she's nothing like your charlatan. Basically, that's my father's cognitive version of me. Hey guys, don't let this get to you. Just remember, once we take Okumura down, it'll all be over. Let's wrap this up quick. Not happening. You shouldn't have underestimated the strength of my company. Employees, fall in line. Anyways, I was hoping to try and pause this so that, um... Even more! I can talk about the fight, but oh well. problem can be solved with more manpower. That is the strength of my company. Happiness based on the sacrifices of others isn't true happiness. Uh, who's next? Morgana, sure, get some healing for Ryuji. These guys, same as the ones from before, weak to psychic power. Just gonna keep blasting them with it. These guys, I believe they were the electricity guys. For real? Its weakness is electricity. If we can use that, it'll go down fast. Oh wait, I thought I was on Haru. Persona! 
Alright, that's fine. Got skills with Joker that I can use. Atropos. There. Ooh, Joker. You're looking cool. And you know what? The Tom Pastor Ryuji he gets a little more power and can blast him. Right in the weak spot. Looking good, Skull. Wasn't enough. But yeah, the guy's a CEO. Of course he's not gonna actually fight do the fighting himself. He's gonna send others to do the fighting for him. Hey, what's the hold up? Can't you scrap it do one simple job? Enough of this! Target that one next! The pompous man in the black coat! Hey, who are you calling pompous? Any who disagrees with my vision will be struck down as an example. There are no flaws in my father's logic. There's a good daughter. Now I can take pride in my work. Shall we? <laughs> Great. Accept defeat. Anyways, we want to try and take care of these guys all at once. Because if we don't, then he's going to start mixing and matching. Get these loudmouth brats out of my sight. Employees, to me! We get the enemy is strong. Let's aim for wind weakness. Kumbanda, there. Ooh, Joker, you're looking cool. Yours. Not done yet, great thing. Zoro! Keep up the pressure, Mona. Noir, you have a lower defense right now. Nice at, at least game. weaken them. So now we can do a little more damage. Keep up the pressure, Mona. Persona. Behold. Yeah, yeah, speed it up. Just wasting more of my time. Which, I guess is kind of the point, but still. Joker, are you alright? Hey, what's the holdup? Enough of this! That bizarre black and white thing! Here's your quota. Uh-oh. Joker, your health is low! Watch out! Ravage them! Ooh, Joker! You're looking cool! Sona! Just gonna finish them off. Get some healing from Morgana next. Your time has arrived, Chief Director. Go forth and show them the weight of the corporate elite. Employees, to me. Okay. I won't let some petty thieves stand in the company's no, in my way. My father's words are absolute. That's right, Holly. One must strike the enemy while the iron is hot. Accept the feet. Huh. Shall we? Skull's really Persona! hungry. He doesn't have the energy to hit hard. I think I actually got something to take care of that. Oh boy. Yeah, yakisa Yakisoba pan. Using this! Persona! Alright, uh, Mediorama, ah! why not? I'm very grateful! Woo! Joker, your defense is increased! Touch them, Melody! Ooh, not that, Noir! Come! Melody! You've got him, Noir! Right in the weak spot! Persona. Now, unfortunately, these guys are still tough, so it's gonna take a bit. Uh, that's for physical attacks, unfortunately. Nice one, Joker. It's weakness. I met my quota. That was awesome, Mona. I met my quota. That was awesome, Mona. For our company. Yeah. For our company. That was awesome, Mona. Hey, what's the enough of this? The obnoxious. Here's your quota. Uh-oh. 
sacrifice order. He's basically going to self-destruct. Not good for us. Now, hopefully stunning them and knocking them down, Ooh, I mean, far. it'll prevent it, but hopefully in a more permanent manner. You got him, Noir. Right in the weak spot. Sona. Nice one, Joker. You hit its weakness. Nope. Ow. Ooh, an enemy ditched. One enemy ran, so that leaves just one. Ha. Well, hey, where do you think you're going? Losing some disposable employees is nothing to me. I have more than enough to replace them. You've made a grave error underestimating my company body. Employees, to me! Ah, Damn, crap. Just how many of them are there? Taking them down one at a time won't do the trick. I won't let some petty... My father's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Shall we? Skull defense is down. I gotta have something here that lets me hit them all. So no, no, free the ice mug, atomic gale, curse, hell, frost, cyclone, arc, blast. Here we are, godly, but that only hits one guy. Yeah. Persona! Satan! Nice Skull's at the top of his game. <sighs> okay, got a crit. Count nine. Okay. On to the next. Let's go. Ravage them! Three enemies on the floor. Nice Persona. joker! Persona! Pass go. over to Noir. Get him! Persona! Melody! You got him, Noir! Right in the weak spot! Persona. And then we go for a Meteorama. Because everybody needs We're healing. Noir, you have lower defense right now. You got him, Noir. Right in the weak spot. Sona. Nice one, Joker. You hit its weakness. I met my quota. Skull fell down. Hang in there. Great. Skull's gonna go down. Crap. Uh, don't tell me I'm going to be getting held up on this. Another godly Magatama. Nice one, Joker. You hit its weakness. Damn it. And I still got another section after this. Shut up. Nobody cares. Okay, I need to focus fire that guy to take him down quickly. Because he has the higher defense. Also, running out of SP. Yay! No. Uh, yeah, soul food. This right. Let's go. There. Ooh, Joker, you're looking cool. Sona. Do it. All right, of course. On to the next. Persona. Touch the melody. You got him, Noir. Right in the weak spot. 
Please dodge. Here's your Revival bead. I better use revival to drain. You know what? No, bomb okay. of light. Dead isn't easy. Joker, your defense is decreased. Uh. Baptismal water moves all the buffs. Let's do this. Now, then again, that's probably a waste. Persona, melody. Ooh, not bad, Noir. Persona. If you want that yet. Nice one, Joker! You hit its weakness! Ooh, an enemy ditched! Uh. So that leaves just one. Employees, to me! My Shut up! <laughs> Shall we? Okay, that's it. I need to get him down. Ugh, and I still have a whole other fight to get through. Okay, Baptismal Water, get rid of that defense boost. Meteorama for Morgana, because we all need healing. Now we start blasting them. Ooh, not bad, Noir. God damn it. Godly Magatama, this one. These guys go next, they'll just flee under pressure. God damn it. Alright, that's it. I'm gonna have to restart this because there's no way I can beat what's coming next because of these guys. I'll be right back. Okay then, took a little bit, but I finally got to the point where I could take them out. I just remembered that I had items that could raise my party's entire attack. Which is actually very useful. There. It seems ordinary workers are not fit for the job. Executive Director, come to me. Time to work. Okay, last enemy. Fulfill your duty as my right hand man for the eternal for our foods. Now this guy doesn't really have any weaknesses, so just use everything you got on him. Satan Tyson! Scout! You sure showed me. I'm beat. 
Alrighty then. Now there are some special things that can occur with this guy. Whether or not we'll get to see them, well, who knows. Hmm. All right, let's go for a charge. What are you doing? Work harder. Contribute more. The fate of my company rests upon how hard you work. For the eternal Big Bang Order, huh? My father's. There's a shall we? Shit, that's not good. Okay. Oh, please do not let this be the end. Guard. 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 Because when he starts focusing, he's going to hit us with this. Don't kill us all. Ow. For real? Damn it. Everyone's health I'm is beat. really low. Can someone Arizona! heal? Okay, so with that ability, if one of your characters is actually suffering from hunger, that will actually Ready fully heal them. So man, I need something for everybody. Actually, I don't think that's an option. No wait, that is an option. Let's see, why no grace? Yeah, let's do this. So we no longer have the attack boost. Great. Okay. Now here's my question. Do I still have the power of charge? I do. Severe gun damage. Yeah, let's go one shot kill. You're mine. Damn. I won't let some petty thieves step. My father. That's right. Accept defeat. And of course, that misses. Shall we? Mona's defense has dropped. Yeah, we are aware. Let's give up a Tom Pass. Jiru? We don't have the charge anymore, but we still have the attack boost. Yeah, I know. Much obliged. Persona. Persona! Go down! For defeat. Okay, fine. I've been using physical. Joker, We're gonna just keep healing. Honestly, it seems to me like the Sorry. hardest part of the part of the fight was the uh, previous one. How's this? Sona, there. You're down there. Hey, losing is not an option here. You carry the Okumura Foods Company name. Kill those thieves, even if it costs you your life. For the eternal prosperity of our company. Shit. I won't let so my father. That's right, Shall we? For real? What? Not good. Mona's defense has dropped. I can't heal and fingers crossed, please, for the love of God. Do I have anything? Yell it. Okay. Haven't been using Takemi's medicine as well. And a little extra. I'm very grateful. 
Alright, I'm not gonna... I was gonna say I'm not gonna bother with any... using any items to power up, because I'm pretty much there. Alright. Let's just charge up and see if we can't get him down with a one-hit kill next turn. Or not. Mona's defense has dropped. We can beat this. Yeah, we can. Just not this turn. I'm not taking any chances. Yeah, yeah. I'm very grateful. Sorry. Can't run from me. Oh. Noir is seriously pumped. <sighs> Mama John, we're on. <laughs> Leave it to me. You've been bad. Yeah. <laughs> Hardcore. Didn't get to see the last of that, though. There is a little bit more, but we don't get to see it because it's a boss. You're mine. What? Even him? Someone! Is there anyone here? But no one came. Why isn't anyone coming? Ah, uh, no, no. Joke's too easy. Father. You've been forsaken even by your own employees. Let's end this, Joker. Damn it! If that's how it is, Hung, I command you to go forth. Show them the might of our company. Yes, Father. Okuma of Foods will be gutted if I fall. Do you grasp the situation here, Haru? Of course, Father. Well, then protect me, even if it costs you your life. As you wish, Father. This is how my father sees me. Nothing more than a puppet that dances when ordered. This is for my father's sake. Let's go. Right. The countdown is already halfway finished. Go down. Exterminate Warm targets. Up persona, get wrecked. He's actually no. not all that tough. You're shocked by this? Everyone, let's destroy it before it can self-destruct. But Noir, that's... I am no longer my father's subservient puppet. The real me is standing right here, opposing him. Show some brand loyalty. Exterminate Persona. You know what, just to be on the safe side. Much obliged. Woo! Exterminate intruders. Shall we? No. Hail, father. Why oh. doesn't have much help? So even Haru couldn't finish them off. I've had enough. Someone get in here. Anyone. Father, the time's come to end this. I hope you're prepared. Shadow Okuma seems hesitant. Uh, Noir's help! She needs uh. help! <sighs> well, level ups all around. This that power. fight was more of a pain in the ass than it needed to be, and honestly, I only have myself to blame for that. Like to try this skill soon. Hmm. Heat wave, heavy physical damage to all foes. Uh, 
Let's see. Yeah, let's get her a Dorman Rush. My persona learned a new skill. Nuke Break. I don't bother with Break skills. In the end, I am just one more in a lineage of failures. I will contact your fiance and rescind the marriage offer. This may be the end for Akuma Foods. Forgive me, Haru. Father! <laughs> you were behind all the breakdowns and mental shutdowns, weren't you? Large sums of money to help my company grow. And to crush business competitors. Answer me, damn it! Did you do it or not? Not personally. I had a contract. All I did was make the requests to have them eliminated. Requests? Then there really is a mysterious criminal in people's palaces after all. So it's true. What kind of contract did you form? And with whom? <laughs> Come on, stop crying and tell us! Damn it, why now? Mr. CEO, can't you stop that thing? Oh well. We can't just throw our lives away like this. Look, up there! We've taken your treasure. Huh? There's one more thing you need to tell us. Have you seen this criminal's face before? We don't got time to get that out of him! We'll just have to inquire about it back in the real world. Panther! Shouldn't we bring Father with us? Don't worry, he'll be fine. We'll end up dead if we're not out of here soon, though. Only you can follow through on your own responsibilities. That is what you've taught me, Father. It? Probably not. Actually, I think it's impossible. We're counting on you, Mona. Four, three, two, one. Goodbye. Is still pounding. Uh, we did a great job in there. You know, Morgana, you seemed almost normal when you took the treasure. Oh? The truth behind the mental shutdowns remains unsolved, though. Okumura wasn't the culprit. Still, he did mention requesting people to be eliminated. He has to know who's responsible. Hmm. Mom. Is this... His treasure... was a plastic model kit? What's the matter? I remember Father telling me something before he changed. He said there was a model kit he really wanted back when he was a child. But no matter how much he begged my grandfather, he never got it. Your family could get, like, a thousand of those kits, though. Okumura Foods has been around for generations. But it was a small company until my father took over. My grandfather was a good man, but not the best businessman. He'd even lend money with no collateral. It seems the debt collectors were a frequent presence when my father was young. Well, that must be why. Why Okumura was so willing to pursue his own happiness at the expense of others. Whoa! This thing's insane! It is a staggering price. I've heard this can happen to collector's items, but still... People are gonna pay that much for a plastic toy? By the way, 
When exactly is the change of heart supposed to happen? Soon. That's all we know. We'll just have to wait and see what happens until then. Once he has his change of heart, we'll surely be able to find out who's behind the mental shutdowns. Yes. Exactly as you planned, sir. Everything. From the phantom thieves targeting Okumura, to them changing his heart. We've lost a convenient source of income, but I'd rather not risk his connection coming to light. Okumura was not fit for the political world to begin with. He should have just behaved himself. Of course, without fail, sir. I've requested that he handle the matter. Arrangements have been made. A sudden mental shutdown will occur at just the right time. We'll dispose of our disappointing connection and the Phantom Thieves at once. Two birds with one stone. <laughs> I've actually been thinking a bit about my actions this time. I was way too worried about who I am and how I don't compare to the other members of our group. Turns out I just don't have any guts, huh? Eh, it happens to everyone. Thanks. I think the reason I was so hung up on wanting to be human is because I needed a goal of my own. Well, not a goal per se, but something bigger. I guess more like... a reason to live. But now that I'm sure I belong with the Phantom Thieves, I know what I want to do. Do you know what it is? Get your own room? to eventually I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure the phantom thieves succeed in other words our goals are in alignment from now on I'm not going to hold anything back you'd better put some effort in too don't make me regret my choice I feel like my bond with Morgana is growing deeper With that rank nine, chance to shield Joker from an otherwise fatal attack. All right. Plus, I want Lady On to be happy. If my actions can help her achieve happiness, that's more than enough for me. I hope you're not thinking about how sappy all of this is. Success, and all that's left is to wait for Okumura's change of heart. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for today, everyone. Likewise. You must surely be exhausted. I suggest you go to sleep early. Hey, we should talk about Haru's welcome party. Didn't we just say we would let her rest, you dimwit? I appreciate your concern, but I'm okay. I promise. As long as you're okay, Haru. Well, is there anywhere you'd like to go? Actually, I'd like to walk around the school festival with everyone. You mean the Shujin school festival. I must admit I am interested as well. well. Then it's settled. That reminds me, we still haven't settled on a guest. A guest? Like some kind of celebrity? Wait, does that mean the Phantom Thieves could be one of the candidates? How about it, want to show up? That's a bit over the top. You're getting way too carried away. Don't say such strange things. What a shallow idea. Ooh, a four-hit combo. Sorry. Alrighty then. First things first, crossword puzzle. Absorbs the most light. Black. This color appears in a number of expressions and metaphors with a negative connotation, such as blacklist, black market, and black sheep. Numerous countries' flags also feature black, but there are many meanings behind the color, including battles, defeat of one's enemy, and even the past in general. All right. I see. Nice. Now then, as for our personas, we want to make sure that we have. A Justice Persona, which we are missing. Hero Font, we've got... Right, 
Yeah, there he is. It's just because it's shortened. Counselor, we got that. Hanged man, got plenty of those. Let's see, tower, got that. And hermit. All right, so we just need to grab a justice persona. But first things first, hey. we need to get a massage. What? How's the press? All right, we're gonna head for Shibuya because that's the closest place to a velvet room that we got. Hey, inmate! Do you have Justine? These are the paths you have walked. All right. Let's see, no, it's judgment. I need justice. There we are. I'll just grab Angel. Dropped. This is your pop. Such rudeness. Are you finished? What? It is time, inmate. Okay. Now to hang out with uh, Sojuro. Inmate. I trust you haven't forgotten about your special assignment. We will be waiting in front of our door. We expect you to accept this task with enthusiasm. Eh, not tonight. You have time today, right? How about with the cafe? Ah, uh, thanks. Oh, the regulars will be here any minute. Don't you ever get lonely, Sochan? You've been a bachelor for so long. Have you given up on marriage? <laughs> and all I want in a relationship is spicy stimulation followed by some smooth, relaxing comfort. And I can get both of those things for my curry and my coffee. That's enough for me. He always dodges my questions like that. He's so clever. By the way, what are your thoughts on Sochan's life of solitude? Eh, to each his own. That's a real roundabout way of showing disapproval. Anyway, the only thing I care about in life is making sure my customers are satisfied. Nothing makes me happier than seeing people relax in here. Come back anytime, okay? Hey. She seemed especially aggressive today, huh? It would have been bad if she pushed any further. But I guess food service relies on keeping the right distance from people. Not too far, not too close. Welcome. <sighs> you just don't know when to give up, do you? Well, I just heard something very interesting. Futaba's been shut off from both school and society this whole time, huh? That's not good parenting. Yeah, and what have you done to care for her? You know quite well what I've done, and it's about time you pay up. <sighs> Don't be ridiculous. Futaba had a terrible life living with you. Plus, I already gave you most of the inheritance for custody. Is that still not enough for you? We could always find out in court. I wonder who'd win between a blood relative and a mere legal guardian. You. Oh, and not to mention that kid you have here. I've heard all about him and his criminal record. That leaves us with a parent who won't let her go to school and a delinquent housemate on probation. Doesn't quite seem the best environment for, for Futaba now, does it? Shut your mouth. You have a problem, punk? I'll sue you for intimidation. Hey, keep your neck out of this. Just get on upstairs, okay? Sojiro, I hunger. Oh, Futaba chan, long time no see. I. Futaba! See what I'm saying? She's a total wreck. This is clearly not a healthy situation. She's only like this because she saw you here. <laughs> Don't make me repeat myself. You can't beat me in court, so you may as well just give me the money. <sighs> well, I hope you reach the right decision. Bye now. <laughs> Futaba, you should just head home for today. I'll take you. Sojuro. <sighs> Job was okay. All that drama must have tired her out. She fell asleep right after we got home. That man is Futaba's uncle. After walk of a dive, Futaba was passed around uh, all her relatives. His place was the last. He treated her like garbage, never fed her, and forced her to sleep on the floor like an animal. He didn't even let her bathe. Once I learned that, I knew I had to step in. I couldn't stand for that kind of horrible treatment, so I decided to take Futaba under my care. 
Even back then, he was whining up about all the damn expenses. Threw some cash his way, thinking that would put the issue to bed. Now he's back for more. I don't even know how he managed to find me here. Maybe paying him was a mistake. Saving Futaba was no mistake. <laughs> Thanks. I never thought you'd be the one comforting me. Neither way, though. It's my fault Futaba didn't leave her room. I just didn't know how to help her through it. I'd make curry, leave it by her door, and go. If not for you, I'd probably still be waiting for her to come out. So if you ask me whether I deserve to be Futaba's guardian, my answer would be no. They say blood's thicker than water, right? I wonder what would be best for Futaba. Sorry. <laughs> Look at me, spilling my heart out to a punk like you. Though, no, it's kind of weird. For some reason, I just feel like telling you this stuff. It's like you're peering into my heart. Heh. <laughs> Guess there really is something special about you. I feel like my bond with Sojuro is growing deeper. Coffee Mastery allows you to brew coffee that greatly restores SP to one ally. Alright. It's already pretty late. I'm going home. I should be heading home. I'm still worried about Futaba. Don't stay up too late, you hear? Oh, and thanks. Whole lot of kindness, but none of it really matters. Hey. If Futaba's fast asleep, didn't mean to get you tangled up in all this mess. If I can help somehow... No, you don't have to do anything. The fact that you asked is enough. Man, though, I never know what I'm doing when I talk to you. I just keep yammering on about stuff I never planned on talking about. Must be going senile, huh? Anyways, don't worry about that guy. I'll find some way to deal with him. You just keep looking out for Futaba. Seems like you two are really hitting it off, so... That's all I had to say. Don't forget to lock up before bed. Later. Huh. Looks like we made a great miscalculation, inmate. Contrary to our assumptions, it seems you have turned out to be quite promising. Your powers continue to grow, as do the relationships you hold with your contractors. It seems the rehabilitation is proceeding at a fine rate. Well, we just beat a criminal. <laughs> Allow me to warn you on one matter. Being at the peak may mean you are mere moments from your downfall. Unexpected situations are necessary in a game. After all. <laughs> Dream again. What the hell? I'm human. I have to be. I... There's no way I was born like that. Mm -hmm. I won't let myself get worked up over some dream. I'm sure everything will be clear if we can get to the depths of... <sighs> Phantom Thieves are doing it, then it shouldn't be a problem. Really, though, who are they? If I met them, it would be love at first sight. What are they waiting for? Hurry up and do it already. Heroes have an obligation to rescue the weak. Well, then. And now we wait, like usual. That's not an excuse to slack off. We should use our time wisely. Yes, we should. First things first, we're going to head to Shibuya. And then we are going to rent out a 31. 
A writer and editor battle looming deadlines, praised for its gutsy tension. And now, back to the class. Er, uh, back to school. Uh, there's the entrance. What do you want? Gonna take some yak uh, autumn bread and yakisoba pan. And now, let's see, is it available here? Nope. Well, thankfully he's on the map. And let's hang out with Maruki. Welcome. Hey, good work today. It's already autumn. You'd expect to get to get a little less hot, huh? Hey, thank you for helping me the other day. My paper's coming to an end, and it's all thanks to you. So, if you want to stop by, it won't take too much of your time. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming. You see... There's actually something I want to talk to you about. I know this is a little personal, but... You remember how my former girlfriend came up the other day, Rumi? Yeah. We were even engaged, if you can believe that. She was so cheerful. I mean, she could get pretty aggressive. She was always kind of hot-headed. But always so kind, too. She was the best thing that ever happened to me. I didn't deserve her, but if we had our shot, my life would have been so much happier than it had ever been. <laughs> reality's never that simple. A burglar broke into her family's home. Rumi and I had been visiting. And we were there to see what he'd done to them. It was just... It was just bad luck. But it didn't end there. He must have been desperate to escape. He attacked Rumi on his way out. Wait. I was right there with her, and... I couldn't do anything. <laughs> Pathetic, right? We were lucky Rumi's injuries weren't more severe. Physical ones, at least. But the shock of the incident was too much. She had a mental breakdown. We talked about that, didn't we? That wounds of the heart aren't as straightforward as physical ones. She never really recovered from what happened. Even after all this time. I kind of lost myself in that pain for a while, too. Why? She didn't deserve that. None of them did. None of them did anything wrong. I... Sorry. I'm sorry. When I saw her in that hospital bed, I made a vow. I swore that I'd do all I could to fight back against the unfairness of reality. If someone suffered like that, I'd help. Like I said before, Rumi's in a better mental place now. She's happy. But that pain I felt back then, that's how this project was born. Thanks to you, I've finally found the true goal of that research, too. I don't care how long it takes me. I will make my dream come true. <laughs> for Umi's sake, of course, but for you too, Nakamura-kun. I honestly don't have the words to say what all this means to me, but I can at least say this. Thank you so much for everything. Thanks to you, I found my answer. Once it's ready, I hope you'll let me use it to help you find the happiness you deserve. My path is clear now. I think this will probably be the last time I come to you about the paper. Hmm, kind of sad. I know how you feel. It meant a lot to me, too. I'll let you know when I finally finish that paper. When I do, I'll have you to thank you one last time. You helped me see my dream through. I owe you so much. No. But for now, I should uphold my end of the deal. I've got a really special one for you today. I think you're ready for something on another level now. Alright, rank 9. Detox DX raises the chance of Detox X succeeding. Alright. Also, there's one more thing I want to tell you, but I'll save it until I finish my paper. I just hope you can forgive me for it. Uh, uh, sorry. Oh, what? Uh, don't mind me. Sorry, that came out way too ominous. Thanks to Maruki's mental training, my mind feels stronger. All right. Oh, and here, never a bad time for a snack, right? Well, see you. Well then, see you. Ah, your 
back. Hmm. Father has begun acting a little odd lately. He has been cooped up in his study and his voice lacks energy. That actually sounds quite similar to what Madarame went through. And Madarame still had a change of heart in the end. Don't worry, Haru. Is that so? Oh, my apologies. I don't mean to doubt you or anything. Nobody was accusing you of that. People just act a bit weird after their treasure gets stolen. It'd be hard not to worry about such a sudden shift. It'll be okay, Haru. Right. Hmm. I feel better now after consulting with you all. Thank you. Looks like this Okumura case is finally going to have a happy ending. Oh, ho, ho, ho. All that we have to do now is wait for his change of heart. Yo, another box game for you. Hey! Oh, yeah. Eh, I think that's enough stuff from shady commodities. Useful as they were in the fight, eh, they didn't help as much as I would have liked. Hmm. Anyways, I'm going to head to Akihabara because we're going to hang out with Mishima. <laughs> Find sites blowing up, that the request. Something I want to talk to you about. It's super important. Do you think you can make some time right now? Yeah, sure. Why not? What do you think? Hey! I have some great info for you. Um... It's about the next target for the Phantom Thieves. This one's massive. You sure are fired up. No, no. Well, of course, we've got a huge target on our hands. This is the guy. He's a handsome young actor who's been rapidly gaining popularity lately. He's great at acting, has solid conversational skills. He's even been in all sorts of commercials. If you manage to change his heart, everyone will have to start paying attention to the Phantom Thieves. Dude, they already are. He's got to be doing some shady stuff. I just know it. And no, I'm not saying that out of jealousy. I heard a rumor that a famous idol fell into his clutches. You need to act on behalf of her fans. Rumors are wrong all the time. No, this has got to be what the evil underbelly of the entertainment industry really looks like. Anyway, isn't it your job to listen to the public's wishes? You have to change his heart. Uh, no. My job is to take out corruption, not listen to the public. I mean, this would be the best publicity possible you for you think? guys. Well, pretty good tactic, huh? Aren't I an amazing producer? Just you wait. I'm going to put the Phantom Thieves on the map. You'll practically be swimming in requests. Shima's motivation seems to be growing stronger. I'm not saying that's a good thing, though. All right. That's right. I'm the producer for the famous Phantom Thieves. I'm not boring. I'm not a zero. Hey, take out your phone. All right. I just sent you that actor's data. I didn't ask for that. Don't worry. This request will boost your popularity. Guaranteed. After all, I'm the only reason you guys have gotten this far, right? You're not the only reason. Yeah, absolutely. Nice job. <laughs> Phantom Thieves' success is thanks to me. The Phantom Thieves are changing the world. That means I'm the one who's responsible for those changes. Damn it. That means I'm not a zero. Make sure you check the info I sent you. I'll let you know once I've found some more details. See you around. Bye. Okay. Well, let's go hang out with Shinya. Hey. Let's see, but I learned about the Sanja Festival in my social studies class. It had a picture of a huge lantern. I didn't know stuff like that happens in the city. Oh well, wanna train? Bond won't deepen just yet, huh? Maybe I should invite him to explore Nakamisi Street with me. Hmm. Wow, so you want to check it out? <clears throat> so you know about it too, huh? I really want to check it out. Okay, then let's end training early today and head over there. Can't end something you never started. Hey! Whoa, so many people. There's tons of foreigners here too. 
It's like a festival. Do you think it's like this every day? And what are we gonna do here, Nakamura-san? I'm not interested in temples. Well, let's walk around and eat. Huh? Huh? Really? I thought we were going to the temple. Ooh, I smell something good. <laughs> Figured it out, right? I haven't been able to eat lunch at school lately, which Thanks. sucks. You're really late. Nice, Nakamura-san. Thanks for bringing me here. Hey, what should we eat first? Ningyo yaki? Dango? Let's see who can eat the most. Later. Thanks for today. See ya. Ah, you're back. Father was cooped up in his study again today. His reaction was quite vague when I spoke to him, too. Is this what normally happens? Madarame was in a similar state after we changed his heart. It'll be okay. Don't worry. All we have to do is wait. You're right. I'll just believe it's going to work. Thank you, and sorry for asking you so many times. I'll message you again if there's more progress. I get why Haru is great, but let's just wait for the change of heart to go through. Don't worry. It'll be just like it always is. All right, and now... Let's hang out with EY. Okay, here's today's job. There's a homeless guy in Shibuya who knows about a certain issue. Get him to talk about a rumor of a deal in the underworld. But don't raise any suspicion, all right? So you want to know about some underground business deals, huh? You know you can find anything you need on the internet, right? Or are you maybe looking for something a little more? I can see it in your eyes. Who sent you here? It's none of your business. Sure. Anyways, I'll tell you, but just this once, you're getting into some shady business here. Alright, just act like I'm mumbling to myself, you got it? No promises I'm gonna say anything useful either. So an exec for the Hong Kong Mafia came to Japan sometime around New Year's. Apparently something big went down with a huge Asian investor. The deal was worth about 100 million yen. Though you'd figure something that massive would have got more people talking about it. Maybe at least some kind of high-end club to keep it as private as possible. I didn't hear a thing about that, though. Alright, we're done here. Go. Your store is impressive as always. Great stuff, EY. Y yeah It's nice to hear that coming from you, Suda-san. I bet you could start a war with realistic models like these. Seriously, these are incredible. I should get going now, though. Hmm? Yo. Welcome. Alright, EY. I'll take one of everything you showed me today. I'll need an entire arsenal. Along with that tape. Hmm. Depends on how quick the parts come in. Some stuff's probably gonna have to go through customs. How long things get stuck there is totally out of my control, though. Tell me, Mune. What's your son's name? Keoru-kun, was it? That's right. Well then, if you don't deliver on time, I might just have to let Keoru-kun in on your little secret. <clears throat> Suda-san, please. I wonder how will an adolescent boy like him react to finding out his father was in the Yakuza. Guess if things go sour, we could always try to sell him again. Fine, I'll put a rush on your order. Happy now? Very much so. Well then, I look forward to hearing from you again. Soon. Sorry to make you wait, kid. Shit. God damn it. So that was Suda. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry you had to see that. Anyways, how'd it go today? You learn about anything good? A hundred million yen deal. Hmm. Huh, so someone made a big deal with the Hong Kong Mafia worth a hundred million yen. And it happened sometime around New Year's. Wouldn't surprise me if Suda had something to do with it. Here he's been bragging all over about a big score he made right near the start of the year. I've got to do some more research into it myself. <laughs> anyway, nice job. I'm going to be able to give Suda a real scare thanks to the info you gave me. Where's my reward? Heh. <laughs> Anyone ever told you how demanding you are? But, uh, another time, yeah? <laughs> Man, I can't wait to see the look on Suda's face. It's been ages since I've felt this excited. It's all because of you, kid. Turns out you're pretty useful. Feels like my bond with EY is growing even deeper. All 
Rank four. All right. Well, I'm gonna head home early and spend some good old quality time with Kaoru to Yo. celebrate. Damn fine job again, kid. Get on out of here. Later. Yo, it's me. I just wanted to give you a fair warning before I go home to Kaoru. You definitely got me some good intel. Honestly, I appreciate that. But now Suda knows your face, and that could be a real problem. I agree. You catch on fast. Thanks to that shit today, Suda knows we're connected, at least. Which means that stunt we pulled with Masa ain't gonna work on him. Well, what's done is done. If one method isn't gonna work, we just gotta find another. I'll think about our next move. Until then, don't do anything stupid. When I need help, I'll get in touch. Hope you'll be ready. <sighs> huh? Who could it that be at this hour? Are you free tomorrow? Why, yes, Futaba. Perfect. You are cordially invited to go look at limited edition Featherman figures with me and nerd out. Let us ride to Nakao... Nakano. We shall sally forth into a realm of true figuring geekdom. Ooh, Futaba's inviting you to... Vata. So, Futaba's inviting you out, so what'll it be? You gonna go to Nakano? Sure. Well said. Uh, then we're a go for Nakano tomorrow. I'll send you directions, so read them. Better take a good look at your map so you don't get lost. Hmm. Chow down, hang out, and shop to your heart's content. Nakano's got it all. Wanderlust, between ramen bars and huge shopping complex, it's a joy to explore. All right. The Kano Com Commerce Building District. You can also invite people who may enjoy that location to hang out with you there. <laughs> Did you see that limited edition model? They're so high quality, way better than cheapos. The subtle facial expressions, even the little wrinkles on the clothes. Ah, uh, I want them so bad, but you could get sushi ten times with that kind of money. I better start saving. Mm. Saving up, huh? I guess that's the safest way to do it, but how many years of allowance would I need? Fine, I guess I'll just have to settle for staring at it. Okay, next up. Wait a sec. Uh. Guy's definitely bad news. I mean, I don't want to say he's Yakuza, but... Listen, just wait for him to leave. Don't make eye contact, okay? Don't worry so much. Hmm, well, look who it is. Beep. Yo. Hey, didn't think I'd bump into you here. He's talking to us. We're dead. It was the little lady. Yeah, basically my sister. Basically, huh. Sounds complicated. Still, not like I'm in a place to judge. You know this guy? He's my boss. <laughs> what? Like for a job? I guess you could say that. Wait, like that military store? Oh, you know it. Yeah, uh, I mean, yes sir. Relax, kid, I don't bite. So what brings you here? Oh, me and these guys go way back. They distribute some of my wares here. Wares? What about that model gun in the second floor uh, display case? Oh, huh. Yeah, that's probably one of ours. The level of detailing in that one was crazy. Like, the barrel shape and even the metal texturing was perfect. That kind of authenticity is hard to find. <laughs> Whoa, you know your stuff, little lady. You ought to drop by the shop sometime. I got plenty more models for someone who can appreciate them. Really? Yeah, really. See you around. <laughs> he's kind of scary looking, but he seems like a nice guy. I went home after shopping with Butaba. Ah, you're back. Alrighty then, it's Sunday, which means we can go to Kanda, buy some stuff from the priest. Welcome. And I think I will. Some of this stuff was useful. Hey, 
I still have no idea what they mean by non-special ailments. Like, genuinely. And I've played this game several times. Uh, da -da -da -da. Head for the underground walkway, even though it's not going to be guts. Not that it really matters. I'm pretty sure we've reached a point where it's like... Our stats are set. We just need to get hey, a little extra. What do you want? Yeah, it's Ijiru. It's uh, the proficiency Ijiru, mm. but we've already maxed it out. Nice. Now, we're gonna head for Kichijoji to get some chunky katsu. And then we're going to hang out with EY. Hi. Free tonight? Stop by the shop. I got a job for you. And could you make some time after that? Sure. Okay. Come to the shop. You got a minute? All right, that's good for today. Oh, but there's something I want to talk to you about. It's about that secret suit I mentioned. There's more to it than my having been in the Yakuza. I just want to make sure you don't go saying something stupid if you're running Takeoru around here. Back when I was working with the Hashiba clan, some crazy lady came around our office. Must have been over ten years ago. She had this baby with her, and the whole time she was there, she kept going on about how she wanted to sell it. <sighs> Figured she was just some cracked up junkie looking for drug money. But then when I told her no, she sat the baby down and ran off. That baby was Kaoru. <laughs> Thinking back on it, I'm still not really sure why I took him in. Not only did I have to leave the clan, but now I'm stuck running the shop I don't even like. <laughs> Every day is an uphill battle. I still haven't managed to tell Kaoru that I was in the Yakuza, though. Why not? Let me ask you something. How would you feel if you found out your parents were wrapped up in some dirty shit? That's how my mom was. She'd spend every night out drinking, running around town with all sorts of guys. Couldn't stand to see her destroy herself like that. Often I wish I could have had someone else as my mom. So I didn't want to make Kaoru go through the same thing. I wanted to make sure he had a good childhood. That's why I left the clan. I did everything according to the code, but now Suda's dragging me back. Once he remembered I run this fake gun shop, he came by asking me to make custom models for him. <sighs> Though he wasn't really asking, the bastard forced me into it by threatening to tell Kaoru everything. Truth is, Suda's got all sorts of dirt. Not just on what happened when Kaoru was a baby, but on me and the rest of the, my family, too. Who knows what happened if Kaoru learned the truth. Suda isn't going to stop there, though. I'm sure he'd go on and tell everyone else he could. When it's all said and done, he's going to try and take everything I have. Shit. Before it gets out about my past, people are going to treat Kaoru like he's no different than me. After all, everyone knows shitty parents end up making shitty kids. Once he's got that stigma, he'll be stuck with it. When shit goes wrong, he'll always be the one who gets blamed. That's how it was with <clears> me. <throat> That's why I turned to the Yakuza. Nobody else would accept me. It's also why I can't turn Suda down. He's just got too much power. Damn, you're pathetic. <laughs> you got that right. That kid is sick of having a weak-ass dad like me. Anyway, I was trying to stall Suda with bullshit prototypes, so I figured out a way to stop him. That bastard's real good at keeping his cards close to his chest. Plus, he got wind of what I was trying to do and started keeping tabs on me 24-7. Thankfully, that's just about when you showed up, kid. Sorry. Sorry for bringing all that shit up out of the blue. You probably don't want anything to do with me after that, huh? I'll stick around for the guns. <laughs> Man, you're seriously into this enthusiast shit. Alright, just remembered, I never give you a reward for that info. You're right. How about I give you a discount on that the special menu? That should keep you quiet for a while. <laughs> Pretty good deal, huh? Feels like my bond with EY is growing even deeper. Discount. Decreases the cost of gun customization. Alright. Damn, it's late. I should be getting home. <sighs> Gary's been eating a ton lately after cram school. He's probably gonna have another growth spurt soon. Anyways, I'm closing up for the today. You should head home too. Mm. 
Later. Take it easy, kid. Hey, sorry about earlier. Didn't mean to get talking about that heavy shit. But I gotta protect that secret no matter what. For Kaoru's sake. You're right. Wait, what were the other options? <laughs> yeah, I'll do whatever it takes. I guess that's why I brought it all up. Or brought it up at all. Right now, I still don't know what Suda's next move's gonna be. You gotta stay on guard 24-7. Don't wanna get killed in your sleep, right? Alright, see you. Huh? Who could that be at this hour? I found an awesome magazine. I'll bring it to the hideout. You have tomorrow off for health and sports day, right? It'll definitely get your adrenaline pumping. I really want to read it, but I'll wait till tomorrow. Oh, but if you're busy, then do that first and I'll wait. See ya. Guess Futaba's coming here to show us the magazine tomorrow. It sounds like fun, but I'm going to bed. Hey. Hey, Juru. Futaba's down here in the shop. Sounds like Futaba's here. Come on, let's go downstairs. We will, just not this episode. Anyways, with that, we are out of time. Ugh. Boss fight really, really messed with me on that one. Don't remember the uh, cheap directors being that tough. But anyways, with that, I'm going to end this episode off here for today. If you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications when I upload, and please leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.